Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and today we are going on, well not today, this weekend, we're going on possibly our biggest adventure yet. Got an email about uh, a batch of 34 Fords in a barn in upstate Michigan. So uh, email was basically real simple, or would you be interested in a barn full of 34 Fords and, and uh, purchasing them in bulk? So. All right, so we made it, and we are going in the barn here, first building, and Let's see all the stuff that we're getting today. So we have a 34 five window coupe, little old lady owned uh, from new and gentleman owns this stuff, purchased this back in, I think he said the late fifties from her and uh, in California and brought it back. So this thing is like crazy. I mean, it's been sitting here since late fifties in this building and this was her grocery getter car engine still in it still got the plaid seat covers it's hard to see in here when we get out in the light I'll show you guys but The five window coupe was bought from the previous original owner in uh, the Los Angeles era, area in, in 1964. I saw it advertised in the LA Times. She wanted me to buy the car to prevent it, prevent it from being cut down and used as a dirt track racer. Oh. She was born on a ranch in Wyoming and eventually she got to the LA area she had a family there. I don't know much about her, her family story, but uh, she bought the car. She called it beautiful. <laughs> that was the name of the car, beautiful. And, uh, she didn't keep it real beautiful because I don't think she was the best driver. Because I don't think she could see over the dashboard on the car. She was a very small person. And uh, when she got into her late 80s, she stopped driving because of a injured wrist and she couldn't shift the gears anymore okay and uh and that that she was the original owner and you have the original title from her yes wow We got everything loaded up and it was as ridiculous as we expected. It sort of went as planned. I got the truck cab on here. Five windows and truck cab are coming home with me on my trailer. Yep. Go. All in. So it's been a little while since we got this car home. Everything was so crazy with the whirlwind of getting all of those cars that we just put it in the back of the shop, got it out of the weather, and I've been working on just uh, distributing all these cars to new homes and, and getting this stuff stashed away. And now we're able to kind of slow down, take a look. So we rolled it back outside and we're gonna try and uh, go over the car and A, clean it out, and B, uh, just show you guys a little more in detail of how cool this thing is. The engine is very, very <laughs> greasy and original-ish. Um, the only thing I really saw, it's hard to see, but on the other side, they added a fuel filter right by the carb, um, probably because the tank was starting to get some crap in it, so they put that in there. So she she repainted it thinking that this was the original color. I think there was a Cordoba tan, and there's a Cordoba gray. Cordoba gray is what these, the, uh, uh, factory four color that these came in. It's really cool, actually, it's dark tan. Uh, this lighter tan color i think was another color that was available and was out on the market maybe ford put that on other cars later on 
she probably just ordered it, it said Cordoba, and that's what they gave her. Obviously, it does not match. I pulled out the rubber mats on the driver's side just to check it out a little bit. I mean, um, that's original. Yeah, the floor is just like incredible on this thing, so. In here is just incredible how clean it is. You know, you can see the original paint on the floors. Mike noticed this when we were looking before we started shooting here. The original sound deadening is there. It's That's got nice. the drain for the uh, for the roll down rear window. The only rust we found on this car so far is right here where the water, probably the drain was clogged and was sitting. There's a little bit of rust on the bottom of this tray. I mean, we're talking very, very minimal. This is why we dropped the pan because literally we have like, it's it's just turned into grease. I mean, it's just solid. So we need to, uh, we need to get all that out and there's, there's pieces and I don't know what that chunk, I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think there's supposed to be like chunks. Is that a cotter pin? I, no, it, I think, it, I really think it's part of the drain plug because it's like half round. No, it, it, it isn't metal. It, it, oh, it's it like crumbled. Drinking. Yeah. It's like sediment or something. Right. Like, I don't know. fuel tank still has fuel in it. It was just spitting fuel out of the fuel pump. Apparently the fuel pump is okay. <laughs> nice. It was just spitting fuel all over the place. Not causing an issue. It does stink, I can smell the fuel tank. Oh yeah, dude, I got... Alright, switch on. Crank, cranker. Okay, 
better. Might be pulling fuel now. Pretty crazy. Since the 60s, since Clara probably drove it on the first one. I don't know if the gentleman drove it that we got it from, but really, really surreal. Yeah. clean the kitchen no we're going to be cleaning the rest of the tan house paint off of the 34.5 window that we got up in michigan Steve, I'm a nice guy. I know, I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. Taking this job for you. Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> I kind of guessed. Okay. I mean, I'd have done it. Yeah, I don't, like I said, I'll save, I'll save the crappy jobs for another day. For you. <laughs> Maybe that Mousy put some silver dollars up there. Hey, you could ask. 
So far, it's just all the cotton from the back. Yeah, I had a, I had like a freaking beanbag chair full. Yeah. do a little confessional for our intro it took my first first time it got like a warm day I was like I'm gonna go drive this thing and, and, and go have lunch with my buddy Nick and uh, it was about 30 minute drive or so and on the way there uh, it started to push coolant and the engine was getting up the temperature and this thing as a standard doesn't have a coolant temperature gauge at the time um, so as I was driving I thought that was a little odd I drove it to have dinner, lunch on my way back it got really bad and it proceeded to shoot the radiator cap off very high in the air and I lost it and it was just it, very very bad overheated the engine and it was it was just boiling over and, and steam everywhere and I limped the car home and obviously something with the block was cracked we're gonna try and get that engine on the run stand get it going and then hopefully swap it out in this car and we'll be driving this thing really really soon because it's getting warm we got to get this thing going so um, we're gonna start working on that engine, see if we can get it to run, and we'll do our typical run stand stuff, and then hopefully toss it right in the car. Crank it up, and we're gonna see if we can retorque the heads again. Oh yeah, we retorque the heads again, and then uh, we'll run it some more, probably torque them again. Yep. Check the <laughs> check the torque rather. I would call that pretty good. I call I call that a successful run. Yeah.
Oop. There we go. Awesome. Super happy because now I can finally start driving beautiful. Uh, it was kind of a tease the first couple times I drove it and then the engine acted up um, and I was pretty bummed. So now we're kind of where we were in the beginning of the spring where this car is ready to start putting some miles on it and taking it out to some events and of course enjoying it. So thank you guys for following along. Appreciate it. Give a little congrats for beautiful that she's alive again and riding on the road in the comments down below. Thanks guys.